Uh, probably my favourite game would be uh, a Challenge Cup game in 2012, uh, Featherstone versus Castleford. Obviously the rivalry there is uh, pretty prominent, so yeah, I played in that game and we got the win. Uh, we're on BBC as well, so yeah, pretty, uh, pretty big game. Well, I haven't scored that many recently, so I've pretty much forgotten, but uh, I won't say I celebrate. <laughs> I don't celebrate too much as I get up and go back, but you know, some of the boys like to jump around and high fives about as, as far as it goes for me. Well, I've had a few. Um, in terms of comedy value, uh, I used to play rugby with a fella called Andrew Bostock, I used to play at Dewsbury and Featherstone, funny bloke. Uh, in terms of player, uh, I play with some, some pretty uh, inspirational players. But I'd say, uh, I think one of the sort of scariest, that biggest present would probably be Gazok. Uh, I tend to go to Tenerife quite a bit for my holiday. Uh, luckily enough to have, a, have an apartment there that we can go and uh, go and spend some time at. So yeah, usually go to Tenerife. Chinese, every Sunday after a game. More of a gift kind of guy. <laughs> um, I'd probably say I were a Bradford fan growing up, so um, sort of Bradford Bulls in the heyday in the, in the, uh, the mid 2000s. Could pick any any game from back then in the in the, in the prime. So yeah, any Bradford game from the 2000s. Band or singer. I've got quite a varied taste in music, so I think to nail one, one band or singer down would be pretty tough. But um, I suppose I'm a Yorkshire lad, so if I was going to say a band, I'd say Arctic Monkeys. Uh, my favourite app. Favourite app. Probably just WhatsApp. My WhatsApp groups tend to go off quite a bit, so it's about as uh, exciting as it gets for me. <laughs> uh, eating out. I'm more of a takeaway guy, so eating out. I'm, all, I'm partial to a TGI's if I'm going to the cinema, uh, so I'll probably say that. Favourite rugby player. Tough one. I think growing up, probably my, uh, my favourite player would probably been Robbie Paul. Favourite thing on a day off. Probably try and get some sleep. <laughs>